Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. I'll tell you what, I thought we were done open water fishing, but I'll tell you, our good friend Chris from Badgerland Tires and Lonnie Goldman have got an absolutely awesome bite going up in Sturgeon Bay on pike. And I love the, the fish pike. You know, I think they're awesome eating, they're fun to catch. And you know what, why not do one more last open water trip before we hit the ice hard? But before I even do that, I've got to go back to the farm and help my youngest boy, Isaac, finish up a little bit of work on some crops. We've got some corn left out in some of the fields. This year we've had some of the best yields ever. We switched seed up and I'll tell you what, unbelievable, we're running just over 200 bushel per acre and for our farm ground, that is unheard of. You know, fishing, farming, it's all kind of the same, fine tuning, what you're doing makes a huge difference. Hey, I'll tell you what, we're gonna head back to the farm and get our work done there, and then we're heading up to Sturgeon Bay. So everybody, hold on to your hangies. You think about fishing, you think about hunting, but I'll tell you something, farming is no different. You know, and you always want to get the best products to make such a big difference in everything you do. And I'll tell you, we switched over this year to Jung Seed, an incredible change that we saw over all, all of our fields. You know, we had an op absolutely awesome summer, but I'll tell you what, the seed really made a big difference. We increased our yields by about 20 to 30%, which when it comes to farming, fine tuning everything you do with your land and getting a better yield makes a huge difference. And having a good seed and working with a great company like Jung's really made a difference here with us. I'll tell you what, you're looking to change over, make sure you guys check out Jung Seed. Oh, all right, hey everybody, welcome back to our show. I'll tell you what, Lonnie, we are on them already. What do you got there, Chris? Little Pike. Little Pike. That did not take you long at all. You guys are saying we're gonna get 30 to 40 Pike. Well, I'll tell you what, there might be a possibility of that. Lonnie, you're on. Woo! Yeah, buddy. I'll tell you what, that did not take long at all. It looks like a little better one. Oh, that's a chunk one. Oh, nice grab. Chris. Oh, Chris, hold that one up. Nice one, buddy. Look at how chunky that fish is. Thomas, you remember what we said about telling everybody how to hold a fish? Yep, keep yeah. yelling at Lonnie. That's what I was <laughs> keep yelling at Lonnie. So yeah, I'm there's gonna keep better than cold water pike, no. hey, that, white, that white meat. And I'll show everybody how we clean them too. I'll tell you what, they're easy to clean. Uh, Lonnie and Chris just gave me some 25 pound test uh, fluorocarbon. I'm gonna retie with that and uh, I'm gonna have a lot better chance of trying to get these fish into the boat. I got one, but not a real big one, Lonnie, but still, you know, like you guys are saying we're gonna do 30 to 40 fish. This is number four, if you count the one that I lost right there. There's number five. Two by two. This is insane, you guys. Boy, I'll tell you what, there's no lack of action today for sure. And it's again, we're just, it's a twitch, twitch, pause. And everyone's hitting on the pause, huh? Everything's on the pause. And then they're munching the bait, as you can see. Boy, yeah, it's out. gone. Bought a little fish, but a lot of fun. But there's some nice ones too. You bet. Yep. It's action. It's, I'm agreeing. Like action. You like better. action. Chris, you're doing a little bit more winding than, than we're doing. And then pause. And, and I'm doing a real short pause too. Yeah, I see your wind a little bit more. Definitely the cadence makes a big difference. You dirty hog stealing pike catching guy, tire son, of son of a gun. A... What are you doing back there? Catching fish, eating cookies. I definitely got to pick up on that cadence or something. But I know you got a little spinner on the back. I wonder if you have any more of them spinners. Ah, uh, for a small price. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, want some of them little teaser tails? Uh, I would take one. I'm not I'm It not just proud. so happens I got some. I am not proud whatsoever. Those guys had them on their baits and they're fishing them. Oh, there's a fish. Another one? I should have really held out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been digging through your gear. Boy, I'll tell you what, it definitely, little things make a huge difference right there. And boy, that thing has got that bait just T-boned. Don't be afraid to talk a little bit. <laughs> right? Not too busy catching fish. Right. 
Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody, this is what it's all about. And Chris has definitely got the cadence down. I don't think so much it's the crankbait right now, but he's definitely got the cadence to a whole tankaroni. Woo! Hey, that'll buddy. fill oh, in that's a heavy fish. fish. That's oh, a heavy that's fish. a nice that's fish. fish. Whoa, stay in the boat, Chris. Well, if he falls out, grab his rod and make sure you grab his rod and his bait. Uh -huh. We'll see what happens on that. Nice little pike. Yeah, good pike. That's the first one on this pass. Ooh, nice color on that fish too. Pretty, pretty fish, very pretty fish. I'm getting sick of telling him it's a nice job. <laughs> oh, and the singing <laughs> tail. A big spinning rod up in here. I got one right on the side. Here, I'll give you this one. <laughs> Inhaled. Nice job. <laughs> Hungry fish. You know, if I do things right, I'd move the tools over here. It's not like them guys need the tools. Woo, Chris! About time. What do you mean? Yeah. About That's time. what Lonnie and I are saying. <laughs> Feel like a decent fish? That yeah, ain't too bad. That's on that cycle middle too, huh? Mm, I can't tell you. <laughs> I switched back. <laughs> you did? Yeah. You dog, you. <laughs> Was that, how long have you had that back on that bait? A couple minutes. Dirty rot. There you go, there. Well, there you go Lon. Maybe it is that bait. Nice job. Well, you wouldn't think of like pike, like the cadence would be that important, you guys, or the bait. But boy, I don't know, you know. Chris has got about 14 to, this is two for you now. I'm still on one. Good fish. Yeah, you know, it is uh, it is what it is. No, it's... you gotta figure, I gotta figure it out. Well, that's what a fish looks like, eh, Larry? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Back at it. He's killing us today, folks. <laughs> the pike wizard, we're gonna start calling him. Hey. <laughs> Let's not turn the boat around. Oh, <laughs> Let's Lonnie, keep, keep putting trying different baits. Let's steal his rod. No, get out of here. Give him, give him something different. That, is that a better one? Yeah. Yeah, right on that pause again. They're, they're just cracking it. We still, <laughs> that first pass when we picked up like six of them and we had, that was it, we hit them right by the cabbage. And we haven't got a pass over the top of it yet. Why did it take me that long to figure that out? No doubt, it's a snap. Gotta be. It's gotta be a snap. Oh, what do you got there? Real nice one. Nice job, I'll tell you that. Just getting that cadence down. Lonnie's gaining ground now. I'm still in the slump, boys and girls. I only got one so far. <laughs> or shotgun Schaefer when you need them. Shotgun and cheer them up. So we have 20 fish. Larry, how many do you have? I got one. So I can't, I'm only responsible for that one. Got walleyes on my brain. We gotta hit the 40 mark, and then we're going walleye fishing. Nice little hammer handle for pickling or eating up. I like pike. Chris and I love pike. I don't know about you, Lonnie, but I love pike. I love the flavor of them. I honestly think they're a little bit better eating than walleyes. And really, they're not that hard to clean, you know? No. Once you get it down. What method do you use, Larry, to clean your wall? I use the one-step method. I fling them just like you would any other fish, and then I go back in and take out that pin bowl. And it's simple to do. I know uh, the five methods, the five-step method um, works well, but, you know, I think the one-step is a lot easier. I love how far back you can see them fish. Yeah. Just inhaled that bait again. Again? Yeah. But that's a nice pike right there. Yeah, you got a nice one here. Woo. Awesome. You know, I, and it just hit it like it was a, a jig. You know, I was just kind of letting that bait sink down. Man, I'm kind of, you know, now we're not going anywhere for a while. I'm, I can't wait to get that one off and get back to it because trying to figure something out fishing, that, especially when somebody else is really in the boat just clubbing them on you, it's all about trying to figure out and getting that bite dialed in and not getting frustrated. And we've all been in that situation, either been the bug or the windshield. And so far today, I've definitely been the bug. So I'd like to turn it around a little bit. Hold that one up, Lano. Nice fish. Loving it. That one's going right in the old lab. Boy, oh, I, I felt him pop that thing too. I almost saw that. Oh, you're on to it. Yeah, I just dialed in. Yeah, I just I was definitely way, way too fast. There you go, Chris. Oh, here we go. Double. Oh, oh, here we go. I'll tell you what, just changing that cadence really made a difference for me. All day I've been struggling, but until he's slowing it down. 
nice that, pike, Larry. There you go. That's a nice one too. Ooh, that's a chunker. Big and he's chunky. got that bait right there. Good job, Larry. Boy, he's he's Ooh. he's he's still a little green there, Lonnie. Yeah, he's Chris. Fun, he's I'm fun. coming after you, buddy. I'm coming after you, man. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Hey, okay. Nice job right there. Nice little chunk. Chunker, monker. You got that pause going, Larry. Yep. We weren't gonna let Chris kick our butt all day. No. You know, Lonnie, we're kind of that way. We like to kind of wait till the end. Yeah. Right? You know, we just feel. You know, we're. You know, like, it, like, like the old day. You know, when you were a pool shark or a pool hustler. <laughs> yeah. We're just fish hustling. Yeah. You know? his, yeah. <laughs> talking about Doctor Pimple Popper. Yeah. yeah like, we were just talking about really? the old Doctor Pimple yeah. Popper. There you oh, go. Oh my! Like, what? No, like what causes something like that? I would say an irritation for sure. These small pike got such razor sharp teeth. I got some. I got something for you, Lon. I'm done then. No, oh no, oh no. But I gotta sit down, take a break. No, no break. You keep fishing. <laughs> you know, you start thinking about things, everybody. That our winters have definitely changed the last three to five years. It doesn't get as cold. We don't get ice as early as we used to. But I'm a believer in things cycle, and I just think we're in a cycle. I don't know if it's a you know five year cycle, a ten year cycle, a twenty year cycle, but. Uh, you know, I think things always kind of bounce back and go back to the way they were. Hey, I'll tell you what, I definitely got the cadence down now. And you know, I don't mind suffering all day, you know? Just stay run. humble and look what happens, you know? Good deal on that. I, th I think this is like number five for me or six, you know? But 32. Nice fish yep, there. Yep, loving it right there. No doubt the cadence is everything, you know? Like I said, the first three hours I hardly caught a fish. Chris has got another one. I'll tell you, we will be fishing walleyes yet today. Not sure if we're gonna catch them or not, but we're definitely gonna try fishing them. That's a nice bike. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a chunker, my friend. I'm gonna bring your tools back to you because you are gonna need them. <laughs> slime. Yeah, slime away. Mm-hmm. Takes it right off. I was definitely moving my bait way too fast. And you know what the, the difference was? When it actually calmed down and I could see the way my bait was falling in the water column, that really kind of clicked in my brain like I'm definitely moving it too fast. Let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. And that's every time when that bait is falling is when them fish are whacking. I did it, guys. I can't, can't believe it. I'm a slow starter. Yep. Wow, there you go. Nice. Woo. I'm loving that. Oh, that's a good way to end it. Yeah, that's an awesome way to end it. Number 4-0. We were just going to give up, and these guys said, let's go another 60 yards and see what happens. And bing, bing, there you go. Hey, I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Like I was saying earlier, really, I struggled for about three hours today and basically never even had a bite. This week's tip of the week, definitely the key is when you're using any kind of bait, doesn't matter if it's a crankbait or if it's a jig, really look in the water column and see how that bait is really the action and how it's reacting in the water column. It helps you, again, get a better visual on what it's like for the fish when they're coming up behind it. This week's tip of the week, again, brought to you by Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here, it's, it's not a big, big conglomerate, it's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. We're at Mayvale Golf Course, the meeting place. I got Josh and me. We are going to make prime rib burgers that Leroy meets, yep. stuffed peppers, Asiago cheese, a little panko on top, cream cheese inside. A shotgun, when you throw these in the oven or on the grill, how long do you cook these for? Just watch them. I mean, I, I usually cook them only for what temperature you want the peppers to. I mean, you can get the peppers till they're so rubbery, but I kind of like when you bite into them myself. You got a little, little snap, snap to them. Yeah. You can leave the seeds in, pull the seeds out. I pulled all the seeds out, so it cuts all the temperature down on them. So now what we're gonna do is just throw some panko over the top. Prime rib burger, jalapeno bites, little panko, asiago on top. 
This is a 400 degrees right now. I'm going to try it. I can hear the crunch. Oh, yeah. All these ingredients, you guys, are at Leroy Meats and Horicon and Foxley. This is a good appetizer for anything you want to take. Yeah. It to. If you can't find it in the case, ask one of the girls at the counter or ask Scott Hurst himself. He'll help you out. That is awesome. We got to our 4 0 mark and we decided, hey, let's see if we can go catch a walleye or two. You know, that's one thing about Lonnie Goldman is he is always got spots for walleyes. Woo! Oh, Loving that, baby. Look at that. Woo yeah! Whoa, man. Hook, well, Chris, you got, a chunk. you got to hold that fish up. He, I'll tell you what, Ronnie. Like I said, folks, we unbelievable. We caught 40 pike today, and I was off for at least three hours, maybe even more. But I'll tell you something. Lonnie said, and Chris said, when we get to 40, we're going to definitely go try some walleyes. And Lonnie Goldman has always got something going up on this bay. And that that was like my fourth cast. Boom, big Bang. walleye. But man, Lonnie, I'll That's tell you what. Candy. Ice is going to be here in a couple weeks. You definitely want to book a trip with this guy. Woo! I'll tell you what. Number two here. Man, oh man. I'll Interesting, Lonnie just moved us in a little bit. He said, hey, these fish are going to start sliding in towards shore. So he moved us in a little bit. That was my second cast. And boom, that thing just absolutely whaled that bait. You know, amazing catching. Oh, that's another. What do we got there? That's a nice fish right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's, that's a good eater, actually, right there, Chris. Hey, you know what? Again, everybody, you need to think about this. In about two weeks, maybe three at the most, he's gonna have all his shacks out here and it's gonna be game on ice fishing. I am really looking forward to ice fishing. You know, not that I don't love this and this is like amazing to be out here in December and not have to be wearing gloves. I just didn't know what to think about it. You know, it's just uh, one of them kind of things I'm hoping doesn't happen all the time anymore, but you definitely want to take full advantage of it when it does. Oh, it's a monster white Oh, fish. white fish. All right, nice job. Hey, let's talk about that, Lonnie, too. Let's get that in there. And let's talk about really you, well, a lot of your ice guiding is catching white fish. Yeah, we do the white fish walleye packages on the ice, so. You know, we can go for walleye in the morning at sunrise period. We go for whitefish for the half a day and come back in for walleye at the sunset period. That's one of our more popular packages. We've got our exclusive shore lunch. No one does it out here, but I'll tell you what. And legally, I can take one of your fish. You're or two. Ten, ten white fish per guy. And whatever I take for the day, that goes towards your bag limit. So if you want to cook one or two up for your shore lunch, you can only go home with nine or eight fish. Also. And that's a big thing, again, about what your ice skating is, that you can take the massive groups like that yeah. and be able to handle them, and everybody's going to get good attention because you've got several other guides that work with you. We can take 130 to 150 guys a day. So. That's a lot of people. One thing I'll tell you what, Lonnie, is that you and I, I got two walleyes, you got a white fish here. This guy in the back of the boat, Mr. Pike Hog today, he doesn't even have a fish yet. No doubt I struggled big time on the pike today until the end. But the walleye thing, definitely, I've got a little bit better grip on tonight for sure. Now that's tonight. Tomorrow night could be a totally different story. That's the thing I love about fishing, everybody. You know what? It's not every day that you get them. You don't, not me, not Lonnie, not Chris. Well, maybe Chris, but uh, definitely not us two, you know? And that's what really makes it when you do catch them, it makes it more special, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah! Woohoo! Getting kind of old, Larry. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. You're nutting my fish now. Yes. It's going to be that near. I got to get a photo oh. here. I got to get a photo. Yeah, loving it. I'm a what a great way. I'll tell you what, Lonnie, let's make a few more casts, head back, and uh, you know what? I mean, yeah, a guy could sit out here all night when it's like this and keep fishing. Yeah, but this, uh, this is a gorgeous walleye. That is. What, Just, a, what, I, what I'm looking forward to is catching these through the ice here in a couple weeks. Yeah, it won't be long. I'll so tell once you that she much. freezes up, guys, come get them here. This is uh, some beautiful walleye. Here's a nice 25 inch walleye here, a big fatty. Come get these through the ice, eh? Yeah, game on, folks. 
Hey, I'll tell you what, you guys, what an incredible day we had. When we start thinking about catching 40 pike, you know, there wasn't a lot of big, big pike, but there were some real nice, respectable pike, but just sheer numbers, a lot of fun. If you guys are looking at some great ice fishing here up on Green Bay, make sure you check out Lonnie. Hey, Lonnie, let's tell him real quick how to do it. So you want to get a hold of Barbara in the office. Barbara's phone number is 920-255-2617. If you're looking for information to come up ice fishing in Sturgeon Bay, uh, check our website out at www.trophyicefish.com. It's got a lot of good information, how you can get a hold of us, what packages we have to offer, and uh, we'll take good care of you. That sounds good. Hey, and speaking of taking good care of you, you guys and gals, Winter is right here right now, and we are gonna get some snow, and the roads are gonna get slick. You need some good tires on your vehicle. Definitely give my friend Chris here a call over at Badgerland Tires. Chris, let's tell him how to do it. You got three locations. Appleton, Oshkosh, and Shano. Uh, we're on the web. Check us out, Badgerland Tire. You know, and the cool thing about what you're doing too, Chris, is that, you know, there's money is tight on for some people. There's no doubt with all the things we're going through. And you have got a lot of great used tires. And that's another good thing. If you can't afford a new set, at least get a go. good used set on there and stay mm -hmm. safe. We want to thank all of our military people again this week for keeping our country safe because we wouldn't have these great things if it wasn't for you men and women. So thank you for that. Also remember, be damn proud to be an American. And we are living in the greatest country in the world still. And no doubt, it is a great night to be alive, and we'll see you next week. So, 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 look at this, Larry. What do you see right there? Your snap. Oh, my snap. Open. Oh, open. <laughs> you got him, Well, huh? that's your trick to catch the snap. You weren't supposed to tell him that. Definitely need cheaters. Otherwise, you're probably going to lose a lot of crankbaits. Maybe that explains why I lost three crankbaits today, because I never did feel anything. Don't give her the shake. Nah, you got to get that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah.